Right, so I wanted to share a little tip with you actually, because my brother's down and we're making him a press uh, for his photography. And to do that, we've got these two massive lumps of steel for solid steel rollers. We've got two of these. Unfortunately, they don't quite fit the bearings. So this axle needs a bit of taking down just so that the bearings fit in there as a sliding fit. And all I've got is this really excellent but rather weedy hobby lathe. This little lathe does amazing work up to about 20 centimetres. Sorry, uh, 20 millimetres. So there's no hope of it being able to cope with something like this. Now, what I tend to do with things like that, and it's actually pretty successful for making it true, is you can see it set up here. I've got a fan belt there that I've actually strapped around the cylinder and then put that around the lathe's head. Now I just put it around the lathe head and make sure that these two are parallel, but equally you could bolt a pulley in there. Now once you do that, you're actually able to drive this directly, so we can just drive that. And there we go. When we get that driving, of course, what we've effectively done is extend the lathe and suddenly we're able to turn this. So now this is turning, I can actually treat this as if it were part of my lathe. Now, I've put this on some casters just fixed to the bench there. So there are four casters fixed to the bench. It weighs a lot. <laughs> There we go, there's the casters and the thing goes in there. Then when we turn that around, we can actually true it up or we can take it down. Now, the ways of taking that down, obviously, is I can't put a lathe tool on it because I don't actually have the lathe bed. What I actually use is an angle grinder. In fact, two angle grinders. One's got a grinding disc in and the other's got a flap wheel. Let me show you how that works. The trick with this is to go at it slowly here, take a little bit of it each time and there we go, fits beautifully. I don't know if you remember this, I mean that works really well for a cylinder. This obviously is a very large disc and it's a flywheel so it needs truing. All I do is put it on the frame, connect up the drive belt and get that spinning and hold the angle grinder against it. And if people who've watched this, this flywheel actually is beautifully balanced. So it does a really good job. So there you go, there's a way of extending your lathe capabilities with a little more than a fan belt to do some of that heavier duty work. And if you're worried about it being true or not, you saw the flywheel, it actually does a beautiful job. Obviously you do need to have a little bit of patience because the difference between it fitting perfectly and being slack is like seconds, eh? So you just do a bit, test it, do a bit, test it, and you'll get it there. So a bit of patience, a fan belt, and you can extend your lathe capabilities like you wouldn't believe. Anyway, I thought I'd share that with you because I thought it was an awesome tip. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching. And please remember to like and subscribe.